I'm Lowell Giusti, owner of LJ Crafted Wines in La Jolla, San Diego. This video is to show you our patented equipment, which we call a wine steward, which is made for serving wine directly out of a barrel. Okay, our tasting room hinges on it, and it's enabled us to replace the standard single-use traditional wine packaging with reusable packaging, and at the same time, that's halved our carbon footprint. For some background, we make our wine in Napa Valley, and when the wine is ready, we ship the full barrels down to La Jolla, San Diego in a refrigerator truck. We then connect the wine steward to the barrels. So far, we've been through over 350 barrels like this, all sold in refillable bottles. So let me show you how the wine steward works. At this end of the wine steward is a specialist wine faucet, an extension piece which goes over the top of the barrel and screws into this check valve. Then this section clamps into the bunghole of the barrel so it's airtight. On the top, we have a 10 PSI or 0.7 bar pressure relief valve. This is where the gas goes in. And then at the bottom, this section goes into the bottle at the bottom of the barrel and this is some sliding beverage tubing. Let's remove the bung. This piece of beverage tubing slides, so measure it before you put it in as to how far down the barrel you want to draw the wine from. Put it in sideways. This T piece is wider than the bottom of the bung hole. Slide it to the side. Pull up this middle piece. Put it over the shaft. And then tighten this wing nut. And as you tighten the wing nut, so it will tighten the wine steward into the bunghole of the barrel and make it, make it tight. And then slide this cork underneath here so that the, the weight of the faucet can rest on the cork. Next step is to connect the gas, which is food grade, 75% nitrogen, 25% carbon dioxide into this push to connect fitting. There you go, and turn on the gas tank. To make sure that there's no uh, gas leaking out, pour a little bit of water over the wine steward. And if you see any bubbles, then you'll know that it's leaking. So the first thing to do is check that this O-ring around the top has not fallen out of place. If it hasn't, then just tighten it some more. Thirdly, if it is still bubbling, take it apart and put some food grade gasket lube around the edge of the bunghole and that will seal it completely in my experience. The procedure to fill a reusable bottle is as follows. We first sparge the bottle with nitrogen carbon dioxide so that when we're filling the bottle, no air goes in its space. We can close the lid. In the last six years, we've been through 350 barrels in this way, uh, nearly all in, in refillable bottles. People have often asked, well, how long does it take you to get to a barrel? Well, it's taken us up to four months and because no oxygen gets in the barrel, the last glass has been as good as the first glass. So once the bottle is full, we put a peel off label onto the bottle with the wine, the vintage and the alcohol and where the grapes come from. Other legal information is screen printed onto the bottle. Um, when customers bring their bottles back, we put them in this bottle washing tray that goes inside the glass washer. They go through a standard glass washing uh, cycle and get a final rinse at about 90 degrees centigrade. And after washing, they go back onto the bottle tree to dry out. We've had some wine stewards produced in the US and some in Stellenbosch in South Africa. The cost of a wine steward would be about the same as the dry goods on a one or two barrels, depending on how expensive your dry goods are. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Here's for some more Pinot Noir from Southern Napa. Cheers.